guys, I have a problem. Today, I am unloading two pallets worth of scrap wood into my shop. <sighs> I'm really questioning why I did this. I'm gonna show you guys how I store it. We're gonna talk about ideas for what I'm gonna make with all this stuff, how I got it, what we have. There is a ton of scrap wood in the shop. I've gotta get busy building stuff. I have two pallets that have just come in from Ohio, Charm, Ohio. There's a, a hardware store called Kimes, and they sell offcuts of longer boards that maybe they sell as stock or used to build furniture. So something like this, this is a little strip of maple, it's not even worth it to them to save. So they put a ton of those offcuts on pallets with lots of different types of wood, and they sell those pallets but you can get a great, great deal. One of these pallets, it's 100 board feet, and I think we gave $125 for it. Another one of these pallets was maybe a little over 100 board feet, and we gave 175. We had a lot more two inch thick stock. So 200 board feet for, quick math, quick math, quick math, $300. It's pretty much all hardwood. There is some poplar, which I don't know if that's a really hard softwood or a really soft hardwood. Anyways, it's a really good deal. We paid about $3 per board foot and got a ton of stuff. Black walnut, oak, cherry, maple, poplar. I think that's it. I've got to find a spot to put all this stuff because obviously right now I can't even get around in my shop. So let's work on that now. You never want to stack lumber directly on concrete because Concrete is going to store a ton of moisture. So if you are storing lumber long-term on concrete, that moisture is gonna to transfer to the wood. And when you go back to use it, even if it's already been surfaced, you'll find that it's been twisted or cupped or bowed, and you do not want that to happen. So I'm gonna use this pallet, the pallet that the pallet came on, and hopefully this is gonna be my footprint. I'm gonna try and get all that lumber onto this pallet, in a way that it's flat and also of course it'll be off the ground i'm kind of debating whether i should try to stack all of the species of wood together so like oak all together maple all together i don't think i'm going to do that just because if i need some oak and if it's at the bottom of the pallet i don't want to have to unpack everything so i'm going to kind of mix all the species together but i also want to make sure that as i'm stacking this i keep everything flat so I'm gonna try and do this in layers. Another great thing about buying pallets of lumber like this is that it is already kiln dried and surfaced, which is a huge plus. You cannot buy lumber like this in most places for $3 a board foot or less when it's kiln dried and surfaced. I am putting mostly poplar at the bottom. I don't really work with poplar a lot, it has this greenish yellow look to it. It's a softer wood, I'm pretty sure. I know it's softer, it might even be classified as a softer wood. And so I'm just like, I don't really know what to do with this. If you have ideas for what I can make with all of this poplar, let me know in the comments. I, I will genuinely be looking at those to see what suggestions you guys have. I've just never been a huge fan of poplar. For that reason, it's on the bottom, so I don't have to sort through what I'm looking for. The lumber that I really am gonna use often like oak or black walnut. I'm stacking this pallet in a crisscross pattern. So I'm taking one layer and going vertically, the next layer I go horizontally, then the next layer I go vertically, then horizontally, so on and so forth. Um, I just kind of feel like that's the best way to stack it. Keeps everything really flat. So that's what I'm doing right here. Since I'm wanting to combine these two pallets to make the most of my floor space, I'm gonna go ahead and unpack this smaller pallet so I can see what I'm working with so that I can restack it in the most efficient manner. I have reclaimed my shop. All of that lumber is now in one stack that will be easy to access and 
hopefully I can get this stat gone pretty soon. I plan on using this for picture frames, charcuterie boards, cutting boards, uh, check presenters, things like that, things that are pretty small. If you have any ideas for what I can use all of this poplar wood for, please let me know in the comments because I'm not a fan of poplar. Yeah, I'm just really, really not. Now, if you're wondering how I'm going to make money with all of the products I make from this lumber, check out this video right here. I promise it will be worth your time.